Hey what's up guys so here are some great mods that you can install on your android even without root and you will be surprised to know what your phone will be capable of after you install these. So without any further delay now let's get onto these mods. So the first app here is Y Music. So you all know YouTube Red which allows you to save videos and play it in the background. Well this app is the music version of YouTube Red but also free. Using this app you can play music from YouTube and download it as mp3 to play it later when you are offline. You can also play the music in the background and continue to do any other task you like. And that's all about this app. You cannot watch videos. It's only about browsing, listening and downloading all the music you can find in YouTube. Next up is Hibernation Manager. So in theory, it's a battery saving app. But the way it accomplishes that is different from traditional battery saving apps. So there's the CPU hibernation which will automatically lock the CPU to its lowest possible frequency. And below you will see options to hibernate Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and applications. This will ensure that the apps are not working in background. And all of these features will only kick in when the screen is turned off reducing battery consumption when not in use and this will not hamper the performance when you are actually using the phone. The most frustrating part while typing in phones is when we can't place the cursor where it's actually meant to be. iPhone has forced us to address this issue, while Android users can use cursor control to use the volume controls to move up and down a letter while typing. But you might ask how to perform the actual volume control with these buttons. Well, volume controls turn into cursor control only in the apps that you specify. So you can add Google Keep Messenger and while you are on these apps, you can use the volume control to control the cursor and move up and down a letter. But anywhere except these apps, the volume controls will act as it's meant to be. So the latest version of Android allows its users to customize navigation buttons and the navigation bar. Well, this app called Custom Navigation Bar brings that feature to any Android device. So inside the app, there are many options to customize the navigation buttons and the bar. And all of the changes are instant, you do not need to reboot your device. So you can invert the buttons, you also have option to go fully immersive and hide both navigation button and the navigation bar. This provides more screen for your apps to use. And you also have an option to add a new button that can perform a new task like bringing now the navigation bar. Next up is a file explorer that is far advanced than any you can find in a play store. Emma Explorer is among the few great file explorers that has not been spoiled with useless features, tracking system and ads. This app allows you to navigate files, even root files with easy copying, moving and the standout feature of this app is being able to open up multiple tabs and transfer files in between them. It feels like working in windows where you can just drag and drop. The UI and animation also contribute to make this file explorer the best we have right now. This file explorer is not there in Play Store but you can easily download the APK and install it. So that's all about this video guys, hope you like these apps and if you are a root user, stay tuned because I will be back with far more advanced app than these. So thanks for watching, subscribe for more, have a great day.